Hey yo, um, here's my SummerSlam thoughts. Yeah, um, I think it turned out to be a better pay-per-view than I expected it to be, hence to like a few key matches. But nonetheless, let's get on with it. MVP versus Jeff Hardy. Um, it was an alright opener. I think it could have been better. There was a few too many rest holds for my liking, but it like came across well. And I like the fact that MVP is using like a shining wizard kind of thing for his finisher. Um, there was like a little, a mini bit of interference, but not real proper interference, just a distraction, really, which caused the outcome of this match. Um, yeah, not too bad an opener. Then it went on to um, the mixed tag team match. Santino, Morella and uh, Beth Phoenix against Mickey James and Kofi Kingston. Santino's wearing like a singlet now or something. Um, suits him. Um, yeah, just okay match, you know. Um, just had enough time for what it was. Um, like Kofi was able to do like some jazzy shit like he usually does. Um, like Mickey and Beth went at it a bit and Santino played like sneaky heel kind of thing. Um, the outcome of this, well, it's like what you expected, but what I thought was going to happen was whoever got the pinfall got both belts, but apparently it went to whatever team. So um, Santino won the Intercontinental and um, Beth won the Women's Championship. And I think this is good. Like, hopefully, if WWE are smart, they should make Santino an Intercontinental Champion, much like Honky Tonk Man was back in the day. Just a cowardly heel Intercontinental Champ that slipped through by the skin of his teeth. Right? That drew well, and hopefully WWE are going to go along with this. Um, yeah. And then there was um, Shawn Michaels segment. Um, saying like how like everything's got on top of him and he used to call it a day and spend time with his family. His wife was there with him. Then uh, YGJ came down and was saying like, you've got to tell them I'm the reason, blah, blah, blah. And basically what happened was um, Shawn Michaels was going to leave and YGJ, Chris Jericho, was going to punch him. But Sean stepped out of the way and White J punched Shawn Michaels' wife. Now when I first watched this, I thought like Chris Joker actually aimed for his wife. You know, I must have like blinked or something when I, I saw him aim when he was meant to be aiming for Sean. And I thought, oh my god, that like fucking shocked me quite a bit. But the way it went out, like, Sean stepped out of the way. But um, I thought it was a very good segment, and like, it should be... Oh shit, man, it's really dark, isn't it? Oh crap. Sorry about all this. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a lot better, that's a lot better. Um, yeah. Good segment, um, raised enough shock, um... Looked like he stiffed her, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty harsh, really. Um, obviously, I think it will give more meaning to Shawn Michaels' comeback, and this feud is fucking phenomenal. The way it keeps building and twisting and turning, I love it. And um, then there's Matt Hardy against Mark Henry. Fucking ridiculous. Tony Atlas um, pulls Matt Hardy off of. Mark Henry is disqualification after like less than a minute. So yeah, that was stupid. And then it's a uh, CM Punk against JBL. I thought this was like quite a good match really. Um, it's very back and forth and they seem to work quite well together even though JBL was a bit sloppy as he is. And um, it was the right result and it worked out okay really. It's fine. Um, next was Triple H against Great Carly, and I just thought, oh god, yeah, <laughs> just the feeling you get when you see a Great Carly match. Triple H was selling to Carly, all right, I guess, for most of it, and the ending just, uh, I don't know. I thought like they could have made a dramatic ending than that, but nonetheless, John Cena can get a better match out of Carly than Triple H can. 
and it was just there for the kids, so whatever. Um, next match, oh yeah, Batista against John Cena. Um, not bad at all, it was pretty good, I thought. Very enjoyable, they both kind of tried hard, had their working boots on. Um, it was like, just, just a great, like, match between, like, power men, really. That's, that's how I can describe it. Um, they were putting on their finishers, uh, busting out their usual moves, being, like, back and forth. Um, like, the ending came with um, Cena jumping on top rope, Batista catching Cena for a powerbomb, and then Batista powerbombs him again with a mean look in his eyes, which the camera really got very well. So that was good. Um, yeah, I wasn't really expecting Batista to win that either, so I thought that was quite good. I think it was just as good as Cena against Triple H. Um, from that pay-per-view not so long ago um, and I think like they are going to face each other at Wrestlemania no matter what happens right because that's that like um, yeah that was good and then the fucking main event which is obviously a match of the year contender um, Edge versus Undertaker Hell in a Cell just fucking wicked match basically I put it up there with like the top hell in the cells, well probably, I don't know, I think Shawn Michaels against Undertaker, the first hell in a cell, beats this, beats this match, like somehow, but this match comes pretty close, pretty close to the greatness of that one, um, yeah, just, it's just like using a lot of tables and like getting ladders and chairs out and everything, um, there's a great spot edge spearing take through one of the through the cell and um, Edge was like basically laying the crap into Undertaker for most of it and like Undertaker had some great spots I um, Undertaker even did a spear um, Just a brilliant man. I can do it justice by like saying every spot You're just gonna have to go and see it no matter how you see it and it was probably the match that like made this pay-per-view like worth buying in many aspects. I mean, I didn't have a lot of hope for this pay-per-view, and this was the match that was it basically. This match was fucking awesome. Everyone's gonna have to see it. I don't know where it goes from here because obviously the ending, um, someone goes to hell basically, and um, I don't know where. And Undertaker or Edge will go from here. It may even lead to their feud being prolonged. I think it, to be honest, I'm thinking at the moment, it might even prolong to our next WrestleMania and Edge may be the one to end the streak. And that. So, yeah. I don't know, that's just a quick thought, but who knows what happens. Nonetheless, SummerSlam was a good pay per view and way fucking better than last year. So um yeah, watch it, do what you have to can what do what you can to see it and um just enjoy it. It was a fun, entertaining pay-per-view with some great match was like one or two great matches on and um a few okay ones and some entertainment. So have a look at it. Alright, 